Police are investigating two new road rage incidents getting out of hand in the Carolinas. One of them turned deadly. New numbers show the amount of incidents sparked from road rage are on the rise. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Brown live tonight with what law enforcement says you should do and not do. Rachel. Yeah, Fred, police say they're responding to more and more of these road rage incidents, and the best way to protect yourself is simply not to engage. Violent road rage on the rise. He picks his gun up, waves it like that, and then points it at my face. A 72-year-old Charlotte man charged Wednesday. Police say he waved a pistol at a guy on I-77, the two repeatedly cutting each other off. And down near Charleston, a 49 year old shot and killed when things got heated on Highway 52. Do you worry about road rage when you get in the car? Yes, yeah, sometimes. I worry about it each and every day, especially as the population in Charlotte increases. Right now, a one year old child in Houston is recovering. Police say the child was shot following a road rage incident. The other party isn't concerned as to whether or not there are children in the car. They're angry, they don't know how to manage their anger, and then they just react. But in most cases, police say there are actions you can take to protect yourself and your family if another driver acts aggressively. Do not get out of your vehicle. Stay away. Keep your distance. If you're at a red light, do not make eye contact. Do not reciprocate. Ignore any temptation to respond. And if you're being followed, call police or drive to the nearest police station. I don't have road rage, and if they have road rage with me, that's too bad for them. And police want to remind everyone it's not about you. If a driver is going slowly or makes a sudden lane change, you know, it's because they're confused or lost. So it's not about you. Reporting live in Charlotte, Rachel Brown, NBC Charlotte. All right, got to be careful out there, Rachel. Thank you.